In this video, we are going to establish a global external activity quad balancer for our Clarence service. We will follow this documentation to do it. So first, we need to reserve an external IP address. To do this, so we go to an external IP address by in Google Cloud or so, go to it. We use an external static. So let's see what we have to do. We click reserve static address to reserve the IPv4 address, assign a name, assemble ID, and set the network tire to premium, set the IP version to IPv4, set the type to global, click reserve, okay, and name, descriptions. Style lessons global and reserve. Yeah, and that's it. Scene. We are creating an HTTP load balancer. It's not HTTPS, so we could skip this step and move forward to the real load balancer. As you could see in the picture, this is our cloud service, and this is the external HTTP load balancer stands in front of our services. In the external activity loss balancer, there are four components forwarding group, the target activity proxy, the URL map, and backend service. We also noticed that we have a serverless NEG worth the cloud runs inside. Okay, let's try to implement it and review it after we make it run. Okay, let's go to the start configuration. So click plus blessing. And here, what we will do is the HTTP loss balancing, the layer 7 loss balancing for HTTP and HTTPS application. So start configuration for internet facing or internal only because we want our HTTP loss balancer is serve the request from the internet. So um, of course we will do from the internet. And for global or regional, I'll do global HTTP as loss balancer. Continue. Okay, let's first we will move from right to left. So first we need to create a sublet. And EG is the servlet network and point roof. Here and we will, and after that we will config our backend service to power to the servlet and EG. Okay, let's do it. In the backend configuration, so we need to create a backend service. In the backend service. We have now with two back, the backend type is the servlet network and point through. And now we have we could create a servlet network and point group here. So let's create a servlet network and point group. Name I will name is cross service and eg. Okay. And I'll, the region is the one I did for Clarin. I deployed Clarin in Asia. It's once up to do the same. It's a Clarin service, and I'm to cross it Clarin Asia is one. This region also Asia is one. I click create. And done. It's not sad, but as you can see here, now we created a servlet NAG with our Clarin service. So the next step is 
backlink uh, backend service to the NAG. Okay. And this is a uh, backend service. So I'll name it cloud service, car service, car service, backend service. Yeah, I'm not good at naming, but and for cloud CDN, everything here, yeah, keep it as default. In cloud CDN, yeah, I won't talk this this time blocking no just created okay and then we finished for a similar energy and one components in the external XTV loss blancer the back end service let's move to the other one the next component we need to configure is the URL map okay let's do it is uh, routing rules so here we could config map for our routing for example we could add hot pass rule here for example we have you could have something like you know an api something example dot com and we route it into the backend service for this example, since we only have for this example, since we only have one service, so we don't have to do any special action here. We wrote anything to our backend service, and this is enough. And that's so for this step. Now there's only one thing we need to config, is the wrong configuration back to the picture the following configurations includes the forwarding crew and target activity process with xsl certificate okay from in configuration config the loss blister for an ip address port protocol and also configure an xsl certificate if using xtps in this case we are using ctb so we don't have to provide an ssl certificate so if you click xtps here so you have to provide the certificate here but name xttp uh i will name it is uh i'll name it for what in group xttps for what in group yeah and ip ip version ip verse 4 and for the ip address i will use the you know the static ip address that we created in the beginning so in here we reserve a static ip address and now we are using it done here so let's finalize okay name is servlet serverless lost balancer and review it okay well now we have front ends we have forwarding rule we have a URL map so anything will be root to the cost of it back end service and in the backend service, we point to an NAG service network and point route. And the NAG is, is configured with our cloud and service inside. Okay, then we create. So it will take around 7 to 10 minutes. To everything be ready for service request and if you want to update something you also have to wait seven to ten minutes to everything is work perfectly yeah don't forget that okay 
ok yeah so now we can test our service by using this IP now let's review what we did this is our plus balancer and we have this IP here and as we expected yeah we could access it from the internet using this IP so I'll open a new tab here and sorry and cross service cross and count didn't send any data what happened oh now it worked so uh, I mentioned you know it still take a few minutes from is you know deployed successfully to really to serve the request so I estimate this need around 7 minutes to 10 minutes to really to serve request so now it's work perfectly and the last thing I want to do is back to our cloud service I'm sorry Power and serve it here. So at Power and Service, as you remember, this is the auto generated URL that every time we create a Power and Service, we could accept the Power and Service from the URL. Yeah, you see here, Power Service. Yeah, we get the same. And now I want to disable this feature. I only want some somebody accept our service through the lost balancer instead of directly using this URL. So as you can see here, the increase O oh, mean this Lauren can serve the request from anywhere. So now I, I need to change it. So sugar and ingress. Now I update it to all only allow internal traffic and traffic from cloud loss balancing. Click save. Okay. Okay. And back to Magic. and now you could see that we cannot using this link you know you cannot use this link is disabled and we cannot use this link anymore so copy it but I still can use the lost blank thing here I'll copy it for example or use easy click here yeah now the only way to accept our cloud and service is through the lost balancer and we cannot accept the service directly by the auto generated URL by cloud. So that's it. Thank you for watching.